Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I come before you this evening. When I got home from work, I sat down to try to relax, turned on the TV. First thing I saw on the news was that there's going to be a vote tomorrow in our state senate, Illinois, regarding giving illegals some sort of a driver's license in our state. Wow. I, I mean, I, I'm pushing 54 years old, and I have five grandchildren. I have many friends, and I consider the elderly to just be the most awesome. Uh, I, I miss my mother and my father so much that maybe I communicate with the elderly so well because I miss them. I respect them. They taught me. They made me what I am today. They taught me to listen to myself, to know right from wrong, and have good moral standards. I try to live this way. I'm so confused. There's times of late that I feel like I'm living in what I know was one of my favorite programs when I was growing up. And it's called the Twilight Zone. Uh, I just can't believe this. How did we get to where we're at that now a woman I worked very hard for, our state representative, or my state representative, Ruth Munson, I'm told that she cast the deciding vote to put this forth before our Illinois Senate to grant illegals <clears throat> driving privileges in the state of Illinois. I, I am just beyond uh, shock. I, I can't believe I'm, I'm living this. And now this is going before our state Senate. Uh, I will say this, if this is really happening, without going into great detail about other states that have tried this, look into Tennessee. They had to take the law back due to the fact that the legal citizens in that state could no longer afford car insurance. And there's many reasons for it. I don't have time to go into it at all. <clears throat> I need you people to please look into this. I heard on my evening news that tomorrow our Illinois senators are going to vote to possibly, I don't know what the vote will be, I don't know anymore. Like I say, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. But I will tell you this, if they vote to give illegals what I consider to be a privilege in the state of Illinois, which I've always told my boys growing up, it is a privilege to drive a vehicle in the state of Illinois. It's not a man-given right, it's a privilege. I have five grandchildren. I myself have been hit by an illegal and have a damaged car that I can't afford a $500 deductible to get repaired. I can't take $500 out of my family income. I would ask this board, as a whole board, could you please, please do something before our senators vote on this tomorrow? Could you please, as a village, tonight, make some sort of a statement to our Illinois senators that we cannot, we cannot allow this. I don't want to be forced out of the state that I was born and raised in. I don't want to tell all my friends, my grandchildren, my relatives, uh, please, flee the state. But, I will tell you, I will not feel I have a choice. If you, if our state gives illegals the privilege to drive in the state of Illinois, I guess it's time for me to start packing my bags. 
please, if you can get together tonight as a board, and I know it's last minute, but that's how this stuff gets thrown on us. Citizens, I watch the news, I watch the TV, and I heard tonight, I've called Nolan. Of course, he was on spring break. His secretary didn't know anything. Um, so I, I've tried, but I'd like to see, I think a statement much better would come from my village board if you could do something tonight to come to some sort of that you could contact our state senators tomorrow and ask them to please, please vote no. We cannot have illegals taking privileges of driving in our state of Illinois. And I, I, I pray that you understand this isn't malicious. This isn't mean. Uh, I just need some sort of sanity. So I do thank you, and this was all from my heart. So I hope you appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good evening.